Welcome to another GMC DIY challenge. I'm your host, Brad Pennington. Last year's winner, this year's host. And I'm back, but I'm not gonna do anything. No tools from me. We're gonna watch three new DIY influencers as they use their creativity, originality, and overall craftsmanship as they vie for this year's top honors. And once again, these teams will be faced with the task of building home furniture using only reclaimed materials. GMC is known for precision and quality. So we'll be looking for the teams that showcase these attributes in their final pieces. Let's meet the teams. Our first team is being led by Justin DePego, a maker with a knack for building furniture out of repurposed items. Justin brought along his brother, Nico Rosso, to help him out. You ready? I'm ready. Let's win this. Next is Vanessa DeVargas, an interior designer with a talent for bringing vintage furniture back to life. Her partner is her friend and co-designer, Vanessa Cochavinas. I feel super confident. I know we got this. What do you think, Vanessa? Oh, we got this. The third team is composed of Clint Browning, a DIY expert and furniture builder, as well as his buddy, Terry Ward. We've been winning competitions for years, and we're going to win this one. Welcome to the GMC DIY Challenge. You guys ready? Yes. Absolutely. Behind you is the Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's a home improvement thrift store for consumers to come and find discounted furniture and other materials. Now all the items have been donated by other consumers or huge Hollywood studios. So inside of there is some really cool stuff. And all of the proceeds from the Restore go to future development of Habitat homes for families here in Los Angeles. For this GMC DIY challenge, each team is gonna be signed a room and you must design one piece of furniture and a decor item only using the material from the Restore. Now we signed each of you a specific room. Justin, you got the outdoor patio. All right. Vanessa, you have the dining room. Yes. And Clint, you got the living room. Nice. At the end of the day, me and a panel of judges would judge your pieces based on aesthetic design, quality, and creativity and select a winning team. Now all of these pieces that you guys make today are gonna go to a Habitat family here in Los Angeles. Teams, you've each been given 500 bucks. You have one hour to select all the materials from the Restore. You guys ready? Absolutely. Yeah. Clock starts now. T-Dog, where'd you go? Right here. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, hey, clock maker. Yeah, no, I saw that. How much is it? 40. Uh, but it looks like it might be broken. It's got the weights and the brass. That's a price of it. Let's just, let's just mark yeah, it. Mark it, mark it, mark it. We can, we can heckle for it. Okay. Calm down, buddy. Yeah. I know, I got too much coffee in me. Got this little guy. Oh, but that's not chandelier. Yeah, that's like wall sconce. Yep. Well, let's take this. We're going to just put one lighter in that and will have used it up. This is a sexy sink, but it can't be more than 13 inches, and it's 18 and a quarter, which is more than 13, if my math is correct. No, I don't. I'm gonna crash. So I like it. I think it's very educational. I know they got a one-year-old. I'll teach them anatomy. This creeps me out. This creeps scary. you out. It's scary, man. This will scare the hell out of the kid. No, no we gotta. Oh, I don't get that. Look, it looks like a Chucky doll in like some kind of dismemberment. I wouldn't be able to sleep in the house with that. All right, we'll skip it. Oh, that's kind of cool. They already tagged it. Ah, oh, man. See, the other one, we can just use the legs and then put. We the use top. the base and we use the tabletop of this one. Nice. We gotta get it to the front, but we're not gonna get it. So we get this to the front. Are you okay? Yeah. With your back? Okay. So we've got this we pile have everything. and that pile. Yeah. Does that count? All up front. Is that okay? Barely Go like it. this. Some schmutz. The total is 219 and 67 cents. All right. You're kidding. For all this? Wow. It's wow. wow. amazing. It's awesome. All right. Yes. yes. Nice. Yeah, let's, let's, Okay. I don't think that either of the other two teams are as prepared to be as rough and tumble as we are. We do have two other teams of guys. Rob, feed me! Feed me! Feed me victory. You gotta just stay focused. 
from the task at hand. We're forgetting that we have to build two things. We have to build a piece of furniture uh, uh, yeah. and a piece of decor. Oh, man. Creativity with our Lazy Susan will fulfill that part of the competition. That doesn't work. I'm gonna go home. Well, we're, since we're basing this on a rheostat, I'm guessing yep. it's gonna work then. We've still got this. There's only one way to get it done, and that's to do it. Habitat for Humanity is known for providing homes for people in need. Today, our teams will be building custom furniture for the Nelson family, who moved into their home last winter. Now the challenge for our teams is to build the furniture to fit the Nelson's particular needs. Let's go see how they're doing. working on a Lazy Susan, and unfortunately, I had tipped over the granite, and it smashed to a million pieces. Oh, no. So... So wait, your, your concept just got our, shattered. That yes. was our piece. Oh, boy. That was what we built. And we also have a chandelier. So you've got the middle components. So the chandelier... So I saw a few months ago a really cool modern chandelier. It had all these pieces of paper that were attached to it. We're gonna be hanging in different lengths all of the pictures or pieces from the books. All right, so. I, I see that. There's some rock star bees over here. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right, we'll Thank check you. later. Bye. Oh. Pick, it pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it it's up. It's okay. Our fabric. Oh Wait, my God, Were you done with the stain? Every, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. All right, uh, guys, uh, let's go have lunch. Now that he's ruined our space. <laughs> see ya. Yo. Yo. What's up, gents? I don't want to destroy yeah, I don't want to get right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, it's all painty. I don't have to touch the tool today, so. Oh, well, good. Right. Good. I got to look pretty, good. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the paint stage. I think it's going pretty well. We're fighting the clock, but yeah, it's not easy, is it? No. No. Did this start out as one piece? Four. Four separate pieces. Yeah. Oh wow! Great job so far. You got four different pieces. You put it together. What are we calling this? A. Um, we're gonna call it a, a croquet center. So you can't tell me what your. What's your other piece is, though? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's forming. It's, it's developing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're Something headed. tells me that it's going to be more improv. It's been improv from the moment we arrived at the restore. Yeah. Keep at it. I don't want to hold you up. I know we got like two hours left. <laughs> so, yeah. so oh, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll have fun. Yeah. We'll check in a bit. Thank you. All right, buddy. Let's see it. What's Fine, up, man. gents? Just a mess. So, Thank you guys you. are off and running? Yeah. yeah. Looks good. What, uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> This is the main furniture piece. This shelf is here. Right. I moved it up. I figured this is a really nice place for a TV. Do you think that space would fit like a modern, huge TV? Well, we measured it out. Uh, 40 inches. 40 OK. Inches. What were you uh, burning over there? This is going to be our display piece. Uh -huh. Now, one thing I did learn about the family is that one of the ladies in the family used to sew. She likes to quilt. Does, yeah. It makes me yeah. think, again, GMC. You got all the gears, the precision engineering. Got stuff working Everything there. works. That's awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a display piece. Took a, like a chandelier, mm -hmm. cut it up. It's got the beveled glass. I'm gonna build a wood frame around this. Have it lit, have it to where it's a nice little display piece. And I'm gonna throw in a little slogan we kind of came up with together. Good stuff. We'll keep at it. I'm constantly sweating the clock. I still have the croquet mallets to make them look pretty. I still have paint to finish. So, oh, I still have my decorative element to finish, which I almost forgot again. With our Lazy Susan situation and the cracked granite, we decided to reuse the tabletop from the other table. Vanessa needed to cut it into a circle, so she kindly asked Terry, now we have a new Lazy Susan top. I'm in the stage of sweating. <laughs> We have so much to do. Uh, we're having to sand, and it's going slow. When you see this thing for the first time, you will see a unique, one-of-a-kind entertainment center that is that is going to blow you away. What else? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh wait, I got another piece of glass. Alright guys, teams, tools down, time's up! 
Guys, excellent work. You guys are amazingly super impressive. And I just want to thank all of you for being a part of this. Thank you. All of your pieces, as you know, will be donated to a family who's already moved into a Habitat home that's been built. They moved back in February. What you don't know is that the Nelson family is here today to thank you. So, Nelson family, please come on out. This is Yvette, and this is Lois Nelson. Hello, how are you? I just want to thank you guys for the hard work you've done for me and my family. I appreciate it. I feel honored. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it's an honor for us. You guys can sit down, and we'll celebrate in just a few minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to introduce you to the other two judges, besides myself. Chris Ayat from GMC, and Karen Moore from Habitat for Humanity. Chris is the National Promotions Manager for GMC, and is directly responsible for developing creative and innovative ways for consumers and customers to experience GMC. He's a big deal. Now, Karen, She's also a big deal. Karen is the Restore Acquisitions Manager for Habitat for Humanity and focuses on creating a great experience for consumers for their locations and marketing their vision to the broader community. First, let me start off by saying it was not easy picking a winner. The key to the GMC DIY challenge was to create pieces that focused on precision and professionalism. And you guys all did an amazing job with that, and I have to commend you. As you know, the winner to the DIY challenge will receive a $500 gift card towards future purchases of DIY stuff or tools or whatever you want. In addition to that, you will have an all paid trip to Boston to go on the set of this old house. Awesome. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. We discussed the pieces thoroughly, and Chris will start off. All right, Clint. Yes. You and Terry really thought outside of the box on this one. And you took some unexpected turns to make this piece truly unique. It's rustic in feel, it's sentimental with the clock and the pendulum hanging below the shelf. And the sewing machine is a thoughtful touch, especially with the heartfelt phrase that you engrave. Very creative, well done. Now, I did have some concerns, however, about the stability of this piece being an entertainment unit in a family room and that environment. And I just felt that there were certain aspects that seemed a little unfinished. But more importantly, I would have liked to have seen what this piece could have been if you had more time. Overall, well done. Thank you very much. Justin, you and your brother Nico created amazing pieces. The integration of the multiple repurposed units was unique and extremely thoughtful. Integrating a recreational area as well as wet bar, that was really, really cool. I mean, that was like double time there, but the addition of the chalkboard was another thing too. I mean, I know they have kids, lemonade stands. However, my concern a little bit was the weatherproofing, being that it's outdoors. I thought maybe there could have been a little bit more thought into weatherproofing the base but otherwise, you and your bro, amazing job. Thank you. Vanessa, I really loved how you all obviously considered the family in wanting to provide a practical gathering space. I loved how you took the wood on the table and brought out the finish and the grain and reupholstered the chairs and the bench with a really fresh but very neutral palette in that fabric choice there and the chandelier. You took a boring traditional piece and then created this fun and funky light fixture that had an incredible pop of color and it was just, it's really vibrant. What I would say, however, is that I would have liked to have seen something a little more transformational, you know, a little beyond replacing the legs in terms of the piece overall. Outside of that, I thought it was a really inventive, good job. Thank you, thank you. Guys, after much deliberation and discussion, the winner of the second GMC DIY challenge is Team Justin! <laughs> Woo! Thanks to Justin, Vanessa, and Clint, and all the team members for participating in GMC's DIY Challenge. We'll see you next time. <laughs>